weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Well, if by late December standards today was warm, tomorrow will be mild. It won't be as warm as today, but it'll still be pretty nice overall. And then the cool down really comes in Sunday night into Monday, and that's when you're going to feel a lot chillier air in place. And that becomes important because the cold air will be in place Monday, Monday night, Tuesday morning. Here comes a storm system, and with that, a wintry mix of ice, maybe some snow, but ice before it changes over to rain is going to be a possibility on Tuesday. So we're certainly going to have to watch pretty closely. A look over Emporia right now. It is partly cloudy, partly cloudy in Junction City. Had a really pretty sunset this evening. Mayetta, uh, again, a, just a, a quiet evening. The winds have been dying down. Winter Wonderland, we've seen a few cars coming through already right now. Not a whole lot lined up. But last night we had another 400 cars came through. We've boosted that breaking, just shattering of the goal. A good thing. Over 15,400 cars have already come through and still a couple more days to go. Taking a look at your central Topeka area, it is mostly clear and 45 degrees. Light east wind at three miles per hour. 19 this morning, cold. And then all of a sudden it was like spring this afternoon with a high of 60 degrees, just seven degrees shy of a record and 20 degrees above average. Even though the morning low is below average, we surged 20 degrees above average. One of those wild swings in temperature kind of day. 43 at Marysville, it's 39 for Hiawatha. Middle to upper 40s in Shawnee County. And right now 50 degrees at Emporia. Wind somewhat light and variable. There is still that southerly wind over the southern counties. But those southerly breezes, while light tonight, will keep temperatures closer to 30 before the cold front comes in tomorrow, and that'll bring in northwesterly winds. It's not an instant drop in temperature, just steady, steadily dropping. The coldest air builds in with highs in the 30s by Monday, so upper 40s to near 50 tomorrow, then the cold air on Monday. Cloud cover starting to spread in. Here's the system over the northern Rockies. That one will slide quietly through, but it will drive the cold front in. And then the next one in line, this is the storm system that we've got to keep a closer eye on because this one has the more potent precipitation chance for us. The colder air will start to move in tomorrow during the afternoon and evening. We'll be in place on Monday, and here comes the cloud cover building in. Colder air in place. It's cloudy on Monday. Monday night into Tuesday morning, we start to increase what looks to be a mixture of freezing rain and sleet across most of the area for a few hours. This could cause slick roads after a full day of cold air on Monday. We'll see that around on Tuesday to about midday. I'm going to switch to a model that goes a little bit farther out, and you'll see that will eventually change over to rain. And then whether or not it changes back over to a wintry mix of rain and snow on Wednesday is something we'll have to keep an eye on right now. It does look to be more certain on the Tuesday side of things with a, kind of a question mark hanging over Wednesday. Tonight, 30. High tomorrow, 49 as the winds turn to the northwest and pick up to 20 to 30 miles per hour. We drop back to a high of 37 as we cloud up on Monday. Mid-20s in the morning and a wintry mix of mainly ice in the early hours. We warm to the 40s and it changes over to rain. Could change back to a mix Wednesday morning. And then as we ring in the new year, finally, <laughs> we'll be looking at colder air in place. 35 on New Year's Eve and 40 for your high on New Year's Day. Look at that sunrise this morning in Fairview from Linda Money and from Chris Cushing at Tecumseh. Not to be outdone, a beautiful sunset in Shawnee County from Ashley Hetrick from Galvin, or Gavin Delk, taken at Ozaki, as well as Lori Martinson up north at Hiawatha. And we'll do one final view of this evening's sky in Topeka from Chris Anderson.